All right, today we're in a place called Nuneaton, about to do some eating. <laughs> Look at the amount of chips. That's what's bothering me. The fish is like slightly larger than regular size, but the chips, those look savage. They were just playing savage garden on the radio. You think it's gonna be bread that gets me? It's the bread that me. All right, today I'm at a place called The Anchor Fish Bar, and uh, I'm taking on, this is, nobody's beaten it yet, right? Does that have a special name or just the Fish and Chips Challenge? The Anchor Challenge, which as you can probably see, Bike and mice from Mars outside. It's just a, a large plate of, uh, of chips with a, another pretty large fish on top. Are the lemons included or I, can I leave the lemons? You also get four tubs of, uh, of sauce. You can choose from peas, curry sauce, gravy, beans. I got one of each and uh, a big stack of, uh, of bread over there. It costs 30 quid, yeah. but if you finish it in one hour, you get it on the house. Oh, that's fun. You choose from a, a bowl full of prizes. That sounds way more fun than just getting it free or a t-shirt or something. Right, so uh, without further ado, this is Baby's Food and this is the Anchor's Unbeaten Fish and Chips Challenge. Quick scoop! Oh, it's hot. No. I'm glad I let it pull. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode. And today I'm in, well, I said I was in Nuneaton. I'm actually in a place called Tamworth, and I know people get mad about stuff like that, but before you assemble an angry mob and chase me down with pitchforks, remember, it was just a minor geographical error. <laughs> I've never really understood lemon on seafood, but I'm, I'm, maybe I'm missing out. I'm gonna try it today. You know, I was looking at fish thinking this isn't that big, but it is really big. Yeah, this one caught me off guard. I did not think it would be quite as large. I just put it on our Facebook and everyone's saying, that's not a for this. <laughs> I don't know about that. Normally I would finish the fish first, but it's too hot. Yeah, well, at least I learned something from my uh, my foibles with those sausages last week. Anyway, this is the, the Anchor Fish and Chip Challenge, and you get an hour to finish. Oh, I really need to stop waving. Is that you trying to put me off? <laughs> Eat with your hands, right? Yeah, no, I actually use it to cut the fish open, but I'm more of a, I, just, I like to get my hands stuck yeah, in, you know, I'm that kind of guy. Can enjoy it. Can I get me a glass of um, water? <laughs> you might regret that. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, thank you. I was going to say, you might regret um, touching the glasses after I've had my greasy hands on them. So I'll wash them anyway. <laughs> oh, the amount of chips, man. Ooh. You know, somebody should really put together a super cut of me complaining about chips. There's more than enough footage out there <laughs> to do that. Anyway, yeah, I mean, the amount of chips is crazy because the tray is actually concave, convex, con no, concave, yeah. Uh, it dips inward. Um, there are actually more chips on the tray than it looks like there are. So uh, I, I thought I would just dig into them and get the hard part done early. The crustier chips, I'll soften up with the sauces, I think. I'll just drink them. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, you'll end up drinking one of those things. It's inevitable. Although I do think any second now, I'm about to use some of the gravy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a lady that walked into the shop and looked at me with, I, I don't know what the word is, some kind of mixture of horror and disdain, but I find that kind of thing quite funny. There are a few people in the shop now, so it's time to get civilized. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe that ship has sailed. Fortunately, the, the chips were actually pretty good. They were fluffy, so they weren't too hard to eat. Still think I'm not going to finish? I'm looking at the chicken not just do that. 
I think I might have just eaten some foil. <laughs> Oh really? This could come in handy. <laughs> I got way too excited then. I think you could buy these things for like 99p from Wilco's or I don't know, <laughs> B&M or something. It's not having sauces yet. My sauce is at least my problems I've got. I've done the hard work now. I'm onto the fish. Yeah, thankfully the fish is cooled now and I'm glad because it tasted pretty fresh. I'm gonna try some of the curry sauce. You steady on lad. You going sauce mad there? I think I've gone from using almost no sauce in any video ever to using all the sauce at once. Anyway, if you do manage to finish this in an hour, you don't necessarily get the meal free. You blindly select from a prize pot in which some of the prizes are worth less than the free meal and some are worth more. Do you have, a, do you have any napkins, but like the dry kind, not the yeah. wet kind? Just because my hands are so slippery, I can't open the packets. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They've got a mother's instinct here at the Anchor Fish Bar. They give me baby wipes. <laughs> Keep me clean. Oh, I'm starting to sweat now. Whew. Yeah, I think that was equal parts the weather and the heat of the food. You're not even a big man, are you? Yeah. I'm a little dude, yeah. Oh man, I've eaten so much metal. Yeah, all right, calm down, Iron Giant. It's just a bit of tin foil. Although it was not the most practical thing off which to eat food. Right, what I'm gonna do is save the beans. I might as well. This is, this is the, the gravy. So you could watch me eating that like a pig, but you can't watch, watch me drinking the gravy. Ooh, yummy. Is that alright? Is that, is that empty? <laughs> oh, mushy peas, that's the, that's the killer. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about the mushy peas. We got most of it down now but I'm not the biggest fan of mushy peas. They, they, they were all right though, they were, they were pretty creamy. Is there any chance I could get some more of this? Yeah. I mean, I love the baby wipes, but they're a little bit um, moist, you know. Thank you very much. Yeah, those baby wipes, they weren't gonna cut it. I need something, you know, rough and ready, something absorbent. I don't like to tell places to stop playing the music because obviously I have cussed with it usually, but because I make videos on YouTube, if, if you're playing, I don't know, Miley Cyrus or something, YouTube detects that. <laughs> Miley Cyrus? Where did that come from? Ooh, Mr. Chip. Right, let's finish off. Those mushy peas are gonna get me. I'll, I'll leave those to the end in case I throw. I'll be okay, I won't throw, I won't throw. Yeah, I don't know. Don't count your chickens. There's still time left. There, there are some more mushy peas in there. They could do it. Thankfully, I had the Fanta on hand, something a bit fruity, which uh, which helped a little. I like peas, but I cannot stand mushy peas. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think you might have mentioned that once or twice before. Thankfully, they, they weren't easily offended. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. That's about as clean as I can get that, I think, because they're mushy. Is that all right? Yeah. Oh. There are two chips on the floor. Oh my god, there's two chips on the floor. Oh. Oh. They will let you off that. You've not got to eat them. Oh my god. Oh. 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 You can't waste food, come on. Nice, nice. Let's check, let's check the beans. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, actually, you do have to eat the lemons. <laughs> <laughs>